tag is flying in everywhere, you can guarantee that. I'm hoping that we don't let this game down, we're aggressive. Oh! The dugouts are out. Oh, he's split his head open. Oh! Oh! Oh my! Yes, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, cats, goldfishes, dogs. How we doing? <laughs> you have been asking for a different style of video. And today, well, I'm just going to give you that. Tonight, we're attending the first ever amateur game on this channel. However, there's a bit of a twist to it. Tonight, it's a cup final with two of the best amateur teams in the country. Yes, this is going to be all out mayhem. These two teams, well, they have been flying in the amateur game in recent years. However, tonight, there is a trophy on the line. And I'm just letting you know right now, it's not going to be a friendly game. Amateur football, you've seen it. The players that are involved in these games, what is on the line tonight? <laughs> this is going to be unbelievable. So, where has this game been held? Hamilton. New Douglas Park Stadium. Without further ado, let's get in and see what this is all about. Oh my, I'm so excited. We've done all the levels. However, we've not done this level. And this is just... Oh, come on, let's go. Nice to meet you. Scott here. Introduce yourself for the people that don't know. I'm Scott Struthers. I'm the secretary at Hamilton Aki's Football Club and I've been organising games for the amateur FA going back to 1986. Wow. And look at this cup you were telling me. I didn't think it was going to be that big you were telling me last night, but wow, look at this cup here. This trophy, which George Dingwall is the caretaker for and treasure of right now, is one of the oldest trophies still in competition in Scotland. June 1920 is the date on it. It originally started with the North West Lanark Juvenile Football League. For the people that haven't seen amateur football, who are the two teams involved tonight? Uh, tonight, two of the top teams in the country, maybe even the best two teams in the country, St Pat's from Dumbarton and Castleville OBC. Two top teams and I think a good game in anticipation. George, I was just speaking to you there and you have said to me, you have been the secretary since when? June 1967. I started Gadkosh United in 1963-64 and it was in 19, uh, June 1967 that the then secretary unfortunately passed away and they were looking for somebody to take over to, to run it. I took it on for a year and 57, 58 years later I'm here and I've enjoyed every moment of it. And you've got some sad news that you need to let the people know? I'm retiring um, oh. at the annual general meeting this year and I think it's time maybe to let the younger guys and the, the, the people are there at the moment, you know, to take over and they're quite capable of doing that. Mm -hmm. And for the people that have never been to see amateur football, never get involved, maybe don't know about it, what would you say to the people sitting in the house? Go out on a Saturday afternoon and watch the games. I've hardly missed a game from 1962-63. Every other Saturday I'll go to a game, whether it's in the league or whether it's in the Scottish Amateur Cup or the District Cups, I'll go... Go out, watch the teams, it's a great standard, go out and support them and you'll enjoy that afternoon and you can go home at night and it'll be off. <laughs> Johnny, tonight, this is my first video doing amateur football, we've done juniors, we've, we've done every level, however this is the one I've been asked so much to tick off. It's a great night, uh, you've probably picked a right good game to come here because it's probably the two top teams in the uh, amateur game so should be a good game. And for the people that haven't seen amateur football, what should we expect that's different here? 100 mile on air stuff, <laughs> and there'll be tackles flying in everywhere, you can guarantee that. Uh, but no, you'll, you'll be surprised uh, the, the football they play, especially our team anyway. And St Patrick's, uh, as you can see here, you're a club that have been on the verge of getting into the junior game. I was just speaking to you about last year. You're a club that are probably going to be in the junior game in the next couple of years. A club that people should probably get to know at the moment, yeah? Definitely, aye. We've got a good fan base and the team we've got to know is really young. We're 19, 21 year olds. I think the average age is 22 in the team, so aye. It's all a bright future for us. How big is this game tonight? It's a big game. She passed uh, a bit high strike to amateur team in Scotland. We're second in a minute. Uh, so uh, so this, is first, this is first three second? Yeah, it is indeed. In the amateur game? We're a point between them. How are we feeling? I'm feeling fine. Yeah. Yes, cup finals are cup finals. We turn up and play. 
expect us to win? What are we going to be expecting for Castlemilk? Obviously, Castlemilk, if people know Castlemilk, you know the scheme of Castlemilk. And... We got, I'm hoping that well, we don't let the scheme down. We're aggressive when we play, but also we play football. We're a football team, so we've got a lot of good football players and we're here to play. Right, we are inside New Douglas Park and what a night for it here. On this side, we've got Castlemilk. Castlemilk, they are one of the best teams in the amateur game. And obviously, being for the big sea milk, they're a bit of a scheme team as well. So, they will be firing all cylinders tonight. On this side, we've got St. Pat's, St. Patrick's from the Dumbarton area. They are more of a technical side. They've got some very, very good players. And they've been at the top of the amateur game for the last few years as well. They were one day and a couple of votes away from being in the junior game. However, they didn't get into it. So, it's another year of amateur football for them until they can get into the junior game. But it's not going to be long until you're going to see St. Patrick's in the junior game. Tonight, it's Seamilk against St. Pat's. It's an amateur cup final and it's right here at New Douglas Park. As you just heard from the manager there, there's going to be tackles flying in and there is definitely going to be cards and a bit of madness tonight. Amateur football, it's one we've been meaning to tick off the list for ages and we're finally going to do it. Who's ready? Let's go. Here we go. Castle Milk versus St. Patrick's. It's number one versus number two. This is a huge game in the amateur leagues. And with a cup on the line, with this cup on the line, this should be an absolute cracker. We're off. Ah, you had 10 seconds of that up in the stand. Didn't like it, so we're put aside. <laughs> Just feel a wee bit far away. I was trying to get good videos, but there's a big gap between the seats and the fence, so. We're back, pitch side, and there's been a great start to this game. High intensity, as expected from both managers. Oh, what an out for it here at New Douglas Park. It's funny, I didn't expect both teams to be playing in green. I thought St. Pat's would be the one playing in green. Castle Milk, I don't know if their home top is actually green or they've just done it to annoy St. Pat's. Aberdeen fans. Scottish football fans, you may recognise this face. Yep, just behind me, speaking right now, is Xander Diamond. You may remember him playing for Aberdeen, an Aberdeen legend. I remember collecting this man on my football cards when I was a wee guy. And yep, he's in the amateur game now, he's coaching. And he's very, very vocal. We've had a vocal start to this game from him anyway. Here's our team sheets. Anyone recognise any of these names? Here's your moment of fame, Troops. Somebody's just put a tackle in there and I swear to God, if he didn't get that ball, that was a red card all day, every day. That was a leg breaker. He's so lucky to get the ball there. Everybody in the stadium was like... <laughs> that is the type of game that we're expecting here tonight. Oh! 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 Just a yellow. Look at this, I'm not happy about that. The dugouts are out. Wow. That was a cringe, I was not even 10 minutes into the game. <laughs> and he's trying to kill him. <laughs> this game's starting to heat up very nicely. Oh. 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 First goal. Can't say it's not been deserved, they've been the better team. They've been pressuring. And that is huge. 1 0 Castle Milk. You can see the difference in this game. You can see the scheme inside Castle Milk, the fight, the aggression, the passion. It's just a bit more than St. Patrick's at the moment. St. Patrick's, they're trying to do all these wee fancy flicks and knocks and stuff like that, and it's just not coming off. Every single second ball, Castle Milk are right there and they're winning it. I think if St. Pat's want a chance of this, they need to toughen up a bit. They need to get through these tackles and they get right into them. Oh! Oh! So close to 2 out. Right, I'm starving, so I've just jumped in to get a pie. You're not going to believe what I've just found. A Guinness and Buckfast pie. Homemade by Nosh. Hamilton Catering here. Oh my God. Homemade. Look at this. The gravy dripping out it whilst the drama's going on here. Oh. I'm so buzzing for this, let's give it a review. It's absolutely roasting. Steak, Guinness and Buckfast. Oh my god, that fucking roasting. I've just burnt my mouth, that's too warm. 
Give me five minutes. Look at the gravy dripping out of that. That is a masterpiece. Hamilton, I was not familiar with your game. That's nice. Is it carrots in it? I don't really know about carrots and a steak pie. There's a lot of gravy in it. You can taste the Guinness. You can taste the Buckfast as well, but the Guinness is a bit overpowering over the Buckfast. Guinness lovers, Buckfast lovers. For football pies, that is definitely up there. I'm going to give it a 8.6 out of 10. Hamilton, I was not familiar with your game. That was very good. A lovely wee surprise. I thought I was going to get a wee mince pie. But, yes. Madness on the pot. Madness off the pot. Let's go. <laughs> what is happening here, man? Ooh. <laughs> Look away for two seconds. And you've got madness, honestly. This game has just been flying tackles. That is two tackles now that should have been red cards. That was another cruncher. And it's a yellow. This game, man. The ref's been a wee bit lenient in this one. If that was the higher leagues, if that was Hamilton or somebody in the higher leagues, that is for sure two red cards. No questions asked. But that's the fun of the amateur game. You can hear the crowd start to noise up now. Look what I got on all. A wee line bar. I've not had one of them in years. Line bar, I can't even remember what's in this. Oh. It's the wafer. Chewy. That's nice. Oh! Another one. That boy was running through and he literally RKO'd him to the ground. You got to do what you got to do on it. Oh! Another one! Just kicked him on the ground. <laughs> you can't do that. Honestly, man. You do not see this stuff at any other level. He's just walking away and he's just volleyed him on the ground. What you need to remember as well, it's a lot tougher for these guys in these big cup finals. Obviously, the pressure's on, they've got the cameras on them. However, look at the size of the park. This is a UEFA standard park, as you can see. Fit for the UEFA Youth League. This isn't the small local parks that they're playing on on a Saturday afternoon. A lot more efforts going into it, a lot more grit to get there. Here we go, half time. 1 0 to the Sea Milk. Second half, 45 minutes to determine this grudge match between these two teams. It's first three second. Who's going to come out on top? Oh! At, oh my god! What a miss! What a chance! They were breaking there. One nil behind. You need to be taking the opportunities in a big game like this. Oh! <laughs> Second half. Some more of the same. <laughs> oh! You can't be tough. I'm a tough football. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh, he's spitty seed open. He's spitty seed open, look at this. This boy's still done. It's not looking good. That was a horrible, horrible collision there. He's away down the tunnel and all. He's spitty his head open. That's a passion. That is the courage of this game, man. They're putting their bodies on the line, these boys. Oh! Oh! It's a second goal! Look at this! Wow! Look at the keeper saved that! Oh! But aggro there between the benches. And it's 2 0 to the Seamilk. Look how much it means. The benches have been at each other all game. There's been a bit of aggro. There's some players in each team that have played for each other. There's apparently a player that left to go to them, so he was getting it right up there when they scored. If this game wasn't tasty already, it's going to be tasty now. So I was just speaking to one of the boys at half time there, the St. Patrick's player. I have just been informed that St. Pat's have actually played Castle Milk this season three times, and Castle Milk haven't scored one single goal against them. St. Pat's have beat them twice. And they've scored five goals, a 2-0 and a 3-0. Not scored a goal against them in three games. 
And then in the cup final, they go and score two against them. Mental. Absolutely mental. Oh, mistake. Now St. Pats are in. What a save. What a save that is. With 20 minutes to go, a two goal lead, that is absolutely crucial. Oh. oh. What's happening here? Oh. oh. 10 minutes to go. St. Pats need to get a goal. They need to find one quick. They've got two goals to score, or else they're going to be beat for the first time off a castle milk. Another spot hit. Oh my, it's all getting off now. That is a horror tackle. And he's off. Straight red. It's kicking off. The revenge is here, I know. This game has been mental. There's three split open heads, about 10 yellow cards. That red card that was coming. Oh my god, what a tackle. I was watching it, I was just, I could see it coming, I didn't even record. Because I could just see it coming, flying in, two feet, straight red card, man. And you've seen the reaction there. Minutes to go. If this game wasn't feisty, it's definitely heated up after that tackle. What a block that is. Oh. There's a couple of minutes left. It looks as if Castle Milk are going to be winning this one. They're 2 0 up. Only a few minutes left. This bench is waiting anxiously. They've not beaten them all season. It has been a hectic affair tonight. They've put their body on the line. There you go. And here are your winners the big Sea Milk, Castle Milk. As you can see here, it's not to be for St. Patrick in the ribbons this year. The Castle Milk ribbons go on. Your 2024 Cinema Cup Amateur winners. Right boys, for one question please, who are, the, who, who are the 2024 champions? Just my boy! Well, as you can see the celebrations in the background by the family members, what an occasion it's been here. For my first amateur game, we said it was going to be mental. Let's be honest here, I did not think it was going to be that mental. Split open heads everywhere, flying challenges, red cards, yellow cards, goals. That was scenes, man. Amateur football in Scotland, if you're not involved, you need to get involved. We are definitely going to be coming to more games. That was mental. If you enjoyed that, leave a comment. Where should I go next? Do you play for an amateur team? Would you like me to come and see your amateur team? Leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for joining me. Congratulations to the big stream up boys. And I will see you in the next one.